Louise here again from Mon and Town Library just with another story for you. And at the very end we have a craft based on the story and we'd love to see your finished projects in the comments below. Our book today is called A Song for Bear. It's written by Gabby Donning. It's illustrated by Alex Barrow and it's published by Thames and Hudson Publishers. The little bear stirred and he opened each eye. Then he stretched and he yawned and he said with a sigh. I get up every day with the song of the birds. I have listened so long that I know all the words. How I long to belong to their song and join in. Said the bear, so today I will do it, I'll sing. And then clearing his voice as he stepped from the rock, the bear opened his mouth and oh dear what a shock. For the noise that came out made a song that was strong, but it wasn't exactly a bird sort of song. Such a racket, a rumpus, a terrible din. The birds flew away crying, please don't join in. It's not fair, said the bear, like a child with no toys. How I wish that my voice made a beautiful noise. Then an owl fluttered down from a branch and she said, Don't be sad, little bear. Try using your head. Watch the birds. Can you see how they glide through the sky? So you think, asked the bear, I should learn how to fly? But before she could answer or stop him, the bear, had rushed off to his cave and returned with a chair. Then he climbed on the chair and he jumped. But he found that as hard as he flapped, he just fell to the ground. The owl shook her head and she muttered some things. Such as bear don't be silly, to fly you need wings. Take a look at my face, I can hoot, I can squeak. For you see, little bear, that us birds have a beak. Oh, I see, said the bear, and he ran to his yard, where he rummaged around and returned with some card, which he cut in a big shape and tied with some string to the end of his nose. Then he started to sing. Oh, the noise was so noisy, the owl blocked her ears. Then the little bear stopped and he burst into tears. It's not fair, sobbed the bear. I do not understand why my singing is tuneless. The owl took his hand. I'm covered in feathers. You're covered in hair. That's because I'm a bird and of course you're a bear. That's it, cried the bear, who was getting quite hoarse. It is feathers I need. It is feathers, of course. No, said the owl, I'm explaining it wrong. Having feathers has nothing to do with the song. Though you may not be able to thrill or twit woo, I am sure there are plenty of things you can do. Yes, I can. I can swim, I can catch, I can sniff, I can scratch. I can fish for my lunch, I can box, I can punch. I can roll down the hill, 
I can dig, I can fill. I can draw with my claw and of course I can roar. I can jump, I can creep and I do love to sleep. I can scare, I'm a bear. I can stand on a chair. I can slip, I can skate in a figure of eight. I can bother the bees in the tops of the trees to find honey for my tea. I'm a bear and I'm me. I'm a bear and I'm me. The birds flap their wings in a round of applause and the rest of the animals clapped with their paws. Oh my word little bear, said the owl with a chap. I believe you have found your own song. It's a rap. Not everyone's song is the same this is true. What you needed to find was the right song for you. Then the bear scratched his ear and he yawned as he said, All this singing is tiring. I'm going to bed. And that's the end of our story for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do want to keep watching, there will be a short little craft based on the story which you can try at home. So today's craft is going to be a little paper folded bear. So in the next video, I'm going to show you what you need to make him. So this is what I use to make my little paper folded bear. So here I have a 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter square piece of paper. I just used orange, that's what I had to hand, but any color is fine. Um, it's a standard thickness of paper, or even thinner is best because you are going to be folding it, so card or cardboard isn't really suitable for this project today. So I used a ruler, a pencil and scissors just to cut out my piece of paper. So scissors should only be used by an adult. And then after that, it's very simple. I just have a little black marker to draw in some details. A black pen will also work. And I have two little googly eyes, which I used in my bear. But you are, if you don't have these to hand, you can draw them on or you can just make your own little eyes. So in the next video, I'm just going to show you how to put them together. Okay, so time to fold our bear. So first of all, I'm going to take my square piece of paper and I'm going to fold it corner to corner. And as with the other videos we've done, the neater this is, the better our bear tends to look at the end. So just making sure that's lined up and run my finger along it just to make sure it's good and folded. I'm going to take this corner, so I have a triangle here, I'm going to take this corner and fold it over on itself and make it a smaller triangle. And this is what I've ended up with here. So I'm going to turn the point towards myself. I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to fold it over about halfway and I'm going to fold it down the way, not up to the top, to the middle there. So just bring it over far there. So that is the shape I've ended up with. So just kind of keeping a diagonal here rather than a straight line. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. So I'm going to bring it over from corner to corner and again a diagonal there. So the best thing to do here is fold them and then just have a look and see if they're fairly even just by eye. So that looks pretty good to me so I'm happy enough with that. So I'm going to take my folds on one side and I'm going to fold it back over on itself. Just about a centimetre or so. So you can see the shape I've made there. I've just took it back on itself and just folded it over. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just taking it and folding it over again and then I'm just going to have a look as well just to make sure they're fairly even it doesn't have to be perfect but the more even it is the better so on this side here looks a little bit half square so I'm just going to adjust that and that I'm happier with that so that's the shape I've ended up with there so I fold it both over and then back on themselves and then I'm just going to take each corner and just fold it back again about a centimeter or so and that is the shape I've ended up with there. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So again, just folding it back on itself. 
So taking that outside corner and backing itself. And again, just gonna have a little look at it and make sure I'm fairly happy with them, that they're fairly even. Now, and coming to the bottom of our bear here, I'm gonna take the top layer, so you have two layers. So I'm gonna take this top layer here and just fold it up. Again, just measuring it by eye, trying to keep it straight, about a centimeter, centimeter and a half. So I'm gonna take the whole piece and just turn it over. Okay, so now you can start seeing the shape of our bear. We have his ears here and his face. I'm gonna take this bottom corner and I'm gonna fold it up to meet the other fold. So you would have folded this corner up, just one layer. So I'm gonna turn it over, take the other side and just fold up this layer to meet it. Okay, so just taking it up there again, line it up with the fold underneath. Now, again, I'm gonna take this top layer and I'm just gonna fold it up cover that little triangle okay so that's the shape I've ended up with there so now we actually have the shape of our bear and that's how simple he is now remember this is a video so you can stop and pause at any time or if you want to rewind if you've missed any of the steps and um, you can do so so that is the shape of our bear so very simply I just drew on with my black marker you can use a pen just a circle here in the middle for his nose and just colored that in and then I give him a little mouth and then I take my googly eyes and just one on each side make sure they're good and stuck and that's it that's my bear made it's as simple as that